Welcome to Crumb Justice. <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't posted for a day or so. <clears throat> Not been feeling too good. Anyway, I have been following the case, and there's more questions now have come out since finding Jay Slater than before. One of the things is, which is to me, a key piece of evidence was his phone. And his mother put this statement out. And this is uh, to acknowledge uh, crime stories obsessed. The link will be in the description. One of Jay's favourite songs on his phone. I can't believe today not only did we not did we find nothing on your phone from when you was away, no videos, no photos. We also got refused to see you. I am so sorry this, this happening, Jay. So, first of all, they were, they were told not to see the body. They were advised not to see the body because the body was badly deteriorated. Now, that's another video. And then, when they got his phone, now, you think he went to the NRG Music Festival. First holiday away without his parents. You're going to be taking videos. You're going to be taking photos. You're going to be having a blast. And because you're having a blast, you want to be able to share that with your family and your friends when you get home. Right? But... Jay's phone had nothing on there, no videos, no photos. Why Why was his phone wiped? And if this is an accident, then how was his phone wiped? If this was just pure accident, like he's walking along, he's dehydrated, disorientated, he fell down a 500-foot cliff, right? How? Was his phone wiped? Please let me know in the comments. And I'll see you all soon.